Okay, here's a video related to binding the Devo RX701 to the Devo 7E radio. Okay, so this receiver has a small servo connected to it that is in the throttle port. The receiver is powered through this small S-back, which is a voltage reducer, which reduces the 11 volts of the free cell battery to 5 volts. Okay, so let's power on the receiver through this S-back. I'm inserting it to the XT60 port. Okay, so this one is blinking fast. And if I power on the radio, then using the throttle, it should not work. And it's not working, as you can see. Okay, so let's analyze the radio. Let's enter the menu, use the enter key, model menu model setup okay mine is already called rx701 that is not important important is that you choose devo from there you can cycle through this with these two keys okay so select devo then the problem is this one fixed id is set to a certain number and that number is not the same as the one emitted by this one so we should eliminate that number because they are not communicating using the same fixed ID so go to the number and enter now these two will go up and down and those two will go left and right so let's go down and let's go right to delete now press enter until those numbers will be deleted Okay, and save the changes that deleting by going to done, done, and enter. Okay, and now if we go down, we can see that fixed ID is none. Okay, to save this none, simply power off the radio. Okay, and if I power it on, it is already working. So this one is emitting a new number, and since this one did not had any fixed ID, any fixed number, it is accepting that number which is emitted by this one and it's working. But you should bind it to that number, so let's go to enter, model menu, model setup, go down to fixed ID which is none, but if we enter then it should show a number so by going to done, then the number will be saved. So done and enter. Okay, and if you go down now, it should have a number. There's the number. Now the receiver is bound to that certain number. And if I power off that one, power off the receiver, and power both of them back on, then it should work because both of them are working on the same fixed ID but if for some reason that number is changed by using a bind plug or you can accidentally disconnect that number by connecting it improperly making a poor connection that will also eliminate that number so it is blinking slowly now if I insert this bind plug, which is a simple cable, three pins at the end and the first one will be united with the last one. If I insert this one to the battery port, okay, let's disconnect it and reconnect it. Okay, now if I unplug it while it is working, then it should blink faster. So I'm unplugging it. Now it's blinking faster. Now it is emitting a different number, a different ID. So this is emitting a different number and this is using the old number and the servo should not work. As you can see it's not working. So let's do the same thing once again. Model menu, model setup, delete that number from the fixed ID. Uh, let's go to delete and done okay let's remember that one power it back on 
Now it's working already because it does not have a number. So it, it accepted the number emitted by this one. Okay, and let's go back to the menu. And now let's save it. Fixed ID. Enter. And go to done. And enter. Okay, and now next time when I'm powering it on, it should work. Hmm, why it's not working? And it's not working. So disconnect this one, reconnect it, reconnect that one. Yes, it's working. You just need a restart. Okay, so that's my theory related to this binding thing using the RX701 and Divo70 using the deviation firmware. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.